Today, Thursday of the fifth week of Lent, we come to the church Santo Palinari. Saint Opalinaris, the founding bishop of the See of Ravenna, may have been born near Antioch in Syria. He is recorded as having been the first bishop of Ravenna and persisted in his ministry there despite being physically beaten many times, sometimes almost to the point of death. He finally died after one such attack in Calasse, a suburb of Ravenna. While the exact date of his death is unknown, some hypothesize that it took place under Septimus Severus at the turn of the third century. The first record of a church on this site is during the pontificate of Pope Adrian I, with general agreement that the church dates from the late 7th or early 8th century. Previously, this was the site of the Baths of Nero and Alexander and the administration of the marble quarries during the imperial period. The dedication to St. Apollinaris may come from the fact that Rome was under, under Byzantine control at the time, the local capital of which was in Ravenna. It is thought the Basilian monks were the first in residence here, with relics of several Armenian martyrs being venerated here. In the late 16th century, the adjoining palace and later the basilica were given to the German and Hungarian college. At this time, the basilica was in a sorry state and would be demolished and replaced by the current structure in the years 1740 to 1748. The German college was run by Jesuits and after their suppression in 1773, the college building passed through the hands of several other organizations until being recently renovated to house the University of the Holy Cross, Santa Croce, run by the personal prelature of Opus Dei. In 1990, the basilica came under the control of Opus Dei. Some points of interest include the high altar, which includes the tomb of Crispinus, a display of many martyr relics, and the remains of the major patrons of the Holy Roman Empire. The Blessed Sacrament Chapel was built in what was once the narthex of the church, and this chapel showcases a 15th century icon of the Madonna and Child between Peter and Paul that was venerated in the original basilica. The icon was covered in lime during the 1527 sack of Rome to protect and hide it, and was only rediscovered in the 17th century. Finally, there's the altar of St. Jose Maria Escrivá, founder of Opus Dei.